Audio Book Masters, listen to your imagination. Welcome to ABM Chats and I'm Mr. H. I'm not alone and I'll introduce my guest in a little bit. Um, ABM Chats, just a simple platform where we discuss books. ABM stands for Audio Book Masters. AB Mafeje, you decide what ABM stands for. <laughs> but all we're trying to do is to make a platform where people can listen to their imagination. As I said, I'm not alone. I'm with the great Lumukanda and anyone who's read uh, Into My Children by the late, great Credo Vusamazu Lumuta will understand who Lumukanda is. So we've got Lumukanda here because we are discussing a Luman, Lumukanda-esque book, which is uh, Into My Children, breaking it down, going deep into it to understand a little bit about what is it in this book that is so great for us Africans and the world over, and what makes Kredo Muta such a great and wonderful writer. So we'll be discussing book one, but before we get deep into the philosophical, technical stuff and the more enjoyable stuff, I um, just want to welcome you, Lumukanda. How are you doing, man? Hey, hey, shout out, shout out, H. Yo, everyone, this is Bonolo, a.k.a. at Lumukanda. Those who know, know. <laughs> <laughs> Those who know, know. So tell me, man, yeah. it's good to have you here. Tell me a little bit about you and Credo Mutua. How how do you then come to him as a writer, mm. as 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 a fellow African? Mm. How do you come to him? Because what we know is that this is not readily available content or authors or ideas that we would normally get. We know you didn't get it in in your high school. So how do you <laughs> find? How do you find? Uh, how do I find Credo Mutua? Yeah, actually. Uh, First time I heard of Credo Moto was in high school. Not the curriculum, though. Not the curriculum, of course. <laughs> but just like chats from gents, you know, conspiracy theorists. Oh, okay. Illuminati. Oh, you know, sure. Credo, speaking about cheetah horries and reptilians. So back then, obviously, I, I wasn't that interested in him. And I didn't go into him. I just knew him as this guy that speaks about aliens and reptilians and illuminati so mm. that's that's how i first knew of credo Muto. and then fast forward later you know you find enlightenment ironically after after school that's when you find <laughs> enlightenment sure you know so uh we didn't do credo Muto books in high school geez they're not even close <laughs> that that's even taking you too far <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah, so I didn't even know he was an author, even when I heard of him. Mm. No one no one even said this guy has books. Or well, while they were talking while about they were the talking Illuminati. About the Illuminati. So yeah, oh, okay. no one said, yeah, go check out this book. Everyone and this is at a school. This is at a school. <laughs> sure. And I'm sure it was around, maybe in the library, who knows? Oh, yes. Because we did have a library, and I'm sure somewhere. In, in that school? In that school. Nah, so, nah. You don't I, think I so? doubt that school had a Credo Muto book and just didn't talk about it. I doubt they would have a Credo Muto book and not talk about it because it's Why it's impossible to, to have it? a Credo Muto book and not talk about it. Who, who must it's talk impossible. about it? Anyone who has it, enough to place it on their shelves, cannot have a Credo Muto book and not talk about it because ABM chat starts because you read Credo Muto. You can't keep quiet once you've you've read him the teachers would tell you about him if if it was there so i'm saying (laughs) there's no way it was in close proximity to someone who didn't tell you about no i don't think so i don't think so i don't think maybe well i don't think any teachers read credo motor or they knew of credo motor sure but there were a lot of books in the library Mm -hmm. sure some way there were african books no not credo motor there could be african books i agree Credo Muto cannot sit in a library quietly, is what I'm saying. No. He would I be recommended. Agree. Teachers would tell you about him <laughs> I don't if they think read so. him. Why, 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 why should they tell you about him? Because he's, he's, he's not stable to sit in a shelf uh, quietly, as I'm saying. Like, what I'm trying to say, really, is that if he was there, you would have known that he's there because it's tough to read Credo. And not, tell other, and not tell other people about it. Fair. Which is why, as you're saying, and you'll continue your story now, 
Mm. You found enlightenment only after and then found out he has books, mm. which is why you're talking now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So tell us more a little bit more about that story. So fast forward uh two years into varsity, mm. right? Um smoking a lot of weed. Okay. I'm going through it. I'm reading I wasn't even reading Steve Biko at that time, but I was looking for knowledge. I was looking for books. But what I used to do, I remember I used to bank classes and just go to the library and take out books that are not even recommended. You know, these are books that had nothing to do with my degree sure. at the time. And I'm like banking school. I don't know. It felt less important. It felt like I had other things to learn. That's that's crazy. Right. Because I know a lot of students who've been to university but have never gone to the library. <laughs> I know, I know for sure. A lot of students go to university, but they've never gone to the library. So okay, yeah, you're a different cat. I think it explains the name Lumukanda. <laughs> so uh, that that's what I was doing. Like I was just on this journey, just to find more information. So I just used to camp at the library and take out like six books, and I'd come back after reading all those books and take out what more. books? What books are you reading? So I started with 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 like fiction. Okay. Because cause I, I, I did drama, right, mm. back in, in uh, university. Yeah. So I first found a Gibson Kenter book, oh, read okay. some of his plays. Nice. Uh, Matsumela Manak, I also read some of his plays. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when I also saw Lomo, Herbert Lomo, mm. in the same group. Okay. Because now I'm looking for plays, right? Because the, the content we were getting in varsity was so uninspiring. Sure. It was so boring. Yeah, right? yeah. So I needed something meant to inspire me. So what, you're telling me Gibson Kente was not recommended in your curriculum in varsity as well? Not at all. He wasn't even mentioned. No. So, so how do you know to search for him in the library? Because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm searching in the library, so I'm looking at different books. In or you're a seeker of knowledge, I'm as it were. As it were. You know, <laughs> I'm just looking. Okay, I see different black uh, playwrights. Mm. There's John Garney. Okay, John Gunny then takes you to Winston John. And then you find out more, 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 more black playwrights. And then that's when I found Gibson Kente. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. damn, how come I didn't know of Gibson Kente? Mm. This is a guy I must know of because I'm doing drama. I'm doing theater. Mm. I should definitely know of. In this. South Africa at that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he wrote the biggest play, biggest musical in South Africa, King Kong. Okay, but, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. But it was so huge. Performed in Soweto. Mm. Huge, huge show. Some of the actors that are alive were, were in that show. Is it linked to the movie King Kong in any way? No, 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 no. It's oh. not linked. Uh, Wait, what's the movie? Is the movie called the, King Kong? The movie is called King Kong. But oh. Gibson Kent also had a play called King Kong. Oh, okay. Back in the 80s. Okay, sure. 80s, Fair 70s, enough. yeah. Okay, that's, that's fascinating. Something else to check out. Yeah. So as I'm, because I'm finding now cats like that with mm. Gibson Kente, then eventually, yeah. So that was my. Did you just call Gibson Kente a cat? <laughs> 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 we see you. We see you, Lumukan. <laughs> sure. So yeah. So the, the those were the books I was reading, and then, but then, something triggered me because then I started watching Credo Motor videos. But these videos were uploaded by David Icke. Yes. David Icke, who is actually recognized as a conspiracy theorist. Mm. Like, that's his job. <laughs> how crazy is that? <laughs> like, that's how the guy makes a living. Yes. He's got an audience, he's got a backing. But this guy is anti-system, but he's still living off the system. Mm, mm, that's interesting very interesting something to get into later yeah. yeah 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 he was a former soccer player this David Icke okay. and then he went into knowledge seeking and at some point he said he was the son of God mm. he said he's here to enlighten people and all of that so he went through uh, through his own journey and his own enlightenment mm. so he came to South Africa looking for Credo Motwa because he was writing books Mm. So he came here to do his research, mm. right? So he's got these videos and he's documenting these videos, like four hour long videos of him asking Kredomoto questions. Okay. And 
Kenomoto is just talking and talking and talking. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, this is an interesting conversation. This Credo Motor Cat also, he's, he's a very interesting guy, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I must check him out. And I don't know when, but sometime later, I was in a book market. You know, those black, not black market, like, but it's like they sell secondhand books. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, like those guys who've got a store. In yeah, in the flea market. market. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So the, there's this bookstore I used to go to, to just go check what they have. Yeah. And mostly they had like, you know, white literature, Western literature. So yeah. there wouldn't be much. Maybe you'd get men of the people. Sure, sure, but sure. But you know, achieve it mm. if you are lucky. And then this one time, I actually saw a David Icke book. I'm like, David Icke? Oh, he also has books. Ivan. Ivan. Mm. No, this is interesting. Which one is this one? Demon. <laughs> 65 bucks. I'm like, no, I'm definitely copying this one. Oh, okay. It was called Robot Robot Rebellion. Uh-huh. And so it was about human beings rebelling. So he was terming human beings to be robots. Okay. And now they were finally rebelling against the system. Sure, sure. So he unpacked a lot, you know, from how we sleep to how we sit mm. to how our bodies are controlled. Just oh, okay. from... Uh, the, the the idea of a bed. Apparently people didn't sleep like that and we shouldn't sleep like that. Okay. Naturally as a human being. Ah. You should sleep in a, a feet, fetal position. Oh, okay. That's when your body is very optimal. But things were introduced. So technology kind of ruined human beings and to, to, to make them robots. Okay. So this transhumanism was also touched on in that book. Mm. In mm. Robots Rebellion. So he also talks about Jesus and how Jesus was one of the, because he talks about a lot of leaders that came to the world to come enlighten people. Okay. And Jesus was one of the people that came to enlighten people. Mm. Mm. And also he just mm. mentions these figures and breaks down his character. So I, was, I think I cried after reading that book because it was like an eye opener. Okay. Okay. And then that's when I decided to look for Credo Motor. That's when I searched. I'm like, if David Icke has a book, okay. surely, man, that Matala is a book. Since he's asking, he's the, Matala asking the Matala questions. questions that mm. Matala must have something. That's why he's asking him. That's why he's asking him. Mm, mm, I see. Yeah, I see. you know, he's he's reputable, this Matala. This guy won't come all the way from England yes. and sit with this Matala for four hours. That, that's interesting. I'll pick up on that a little <laughs> later. Yeah, 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 you know, so so it's, it's again that thing of... The Jews are getting vaccinated. <laughs> Sure, sure, the Jews are getting vaccinated. We also should get vaccinated, you know. <laughs> Whiteness always has this authority. Mm, that's that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. So, so uh, to be honest, whiteness led me to Credo Motor. Mm, I didn't want to say it in so many ways, <laughs> but that's true, right? Yeah. Your idea of him as an authority yes. preceded you imagining the Matala is having books. Yes. But once you found him having books... You're like, okay, no, Man. something's not adding up here. Yeah. Mm. This Matala might also have books. Sure. So I search. But it was it was an assumption. It a was, big one. It was a big assumption. Because mm. mm. you were not shocked to find the David Icke book, were you? you it it follows. Like yeah, it yeah. Because, I mean, <laughs> David Icke. Sure. Sounds like he should have, have a book. <laughs> So <laughs> author's name too. yeah i wasn't that shocked yeah sure. no, no. i was like oh here's a book oh interesting let me read it yeah yeah so after reading it i cried i'm like oh wow this That's is deep too much information you know robots rebellion robots david rebellion. Rebellion. okay yeah sure. that that changed my mindset and it changed how i view life how i see life and just mm. jay how I, I i carry myself yeah so i search okay credo motor books Ah, I see about five, six books. I'm like, yo. You 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 went crazy. I'm uh, sure your mind yo. went your mind was, must have been boggled, man. Man, I couldn't believe it. I was just thinking, why didn't this guy mention that he has books in the, <laughs> in that four hour interview? No mention. <laughs> why didn't he plug himself? <laughs> 
guy didn't plug himself and say check my thing out check out my link guys uh, on YouTube mm, mm, too mm. too modest or I don't know mm. what but David Icke also was not interested so in what he doesn't even that. reference the idea that I've unpacked some of these ideas no, in my books or anything no. like that oh okay he speaks as if now this knowledge is now it's coming now he's oh. not saying like I wrote in my book mm. no 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 you don't even know that he has a book even after watching like a four, four hour, hour six yeah, hour six some, hour it's a very long video yeah, like, six hour documentary yeah. but he has no mention of in of my children which is interesting means the the content speaks for itself speaks for I itself guess, yeah. yeah so I see man six books in that my children Africa's my witness is one of the animal I'm like where do I start right mm. where do I start because there's so many books here uh. wow so then I call my dad I'm like hey do you know Kredo Moto okay why why are you calling your father so I'm calling my father because he's he's more in tune with the ancestral background and okay. say it's so, all and he's saying to so I'm assuming he would know okay. of Kredo Muta. Oh, and also because Kredo Muta's background was is popular, mm-hmm. you know, in the community in Soweto. Oh, yeah. Because oh, he lived yes. in Soweto. Oh, because now you figured also that out. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've searched him, so I know yeah. he's lived in Soweto for some time, not the way. 1976. 1976, kind of yeah, yeah. They burned his house. And, mm. 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 and then my dad is like, how do you know? Who, who, who told you about that guy? I'm like, how? How, why why is he asking it like that like that like i shouldn't know oh okay Or, okay yeah like how how did that knowledge reach me how how do you know of this this character mm. then i told him no i was watching documentaries youtube blah 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 sure and then he's like okay if you want to know more get in that my children okay he said i haven't read it but i've heard that It's a powerful yeah. book, yeah. Sure. So check it out. And then went to the bookstore. So do you think that's your inheritance a little bit from your dad? That plug. That plug. Because you said earlier, where do I start? And then the one place you get oh, guidance yes. is from your it's dad. From my, yeah, from my dad. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, so that's... he then leads me to, to, to end up on my children. Yeah. And then yeah. I go to to the bookstore and it was so easy to get the bookstore. Oh, okay. Yeah, Protea book st- bookshop in Hatfield. What do you Oh, it's not the same place where you got David Ike. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Sure. The the flea market didn't have uh African books. Yeah. Yeah. So now I had to go to a book bookshop. Yeah. And it was there in anthropology. Yeah, in the okay. anthropology section which is very interesting. Anthropology is the study of people. Mm. And Indaba was placed there. It wasn't placed in fiction. It wasn't placed in fantasy. Sure. They placed it right at anthropology. Oh, okay. I think they... It's interesting placement. They understand mm. the, 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 the gravity. Mm. Not to just put it there in fiction. I think yeah. they, they've reconciled with themselves that no slightly deeper than fiction oh okay okay mm. um i think we should stop here actually and then just let this understanding simmer mm. because then we want to hear now now that you've opened the book oh so this is the first episode what's happening mm. how did it then affect you sure because we've now come to understand how you found him. i mean a couple of things came up you were not getting the content you were looking for from school sure um you stepped into the university was not learning even the right things which is what led you to read outside the school mm. and live a life during class time at the library mm. a couple of books came up men of my men of men of the people you know sure. mm. robert's rebellion um david ike mm. king kong if you want to read the plays There's so much else that comes up mm. on the side of you leading up, up to, to finding in yes. my children. Mm. And I think if we end here, at least people can also check out some of this content mm. that you've also given us here today. True. And then we can now say, okay, you open the book. What happens after that? Because oh, yes. it sounds like it just it's just as enlightening. Mm. It's just as enlightening. So yeah, with that said, ABM Chats, 
Thank you once again. We'll be with Lumukanda in our next episode. As we're saying, we'll be continuing out of, okay, he found Indawa, my children. He opened it. Mm. I know you can't open and read one page. This is one thing that I know. Mm. So trust me, whatever goes on once you've read it mm. is an epic. It's an epic. Sure. And I definitely want to hear that story. And get into get more into the book itself, actually. So I think that would be a good place to start. So sure. what happens to Lumukanda when he reads in Down My Children? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Those who know know. Those who don't know. Yeah, sure. No, we'll wrap it up in the next episode. And guys, don't forget to join the channel. You know, Please. yeah, there, there, there's a link below if you want more content. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to us and join us. It's only 20 bucks a month. I thought you won't plug yourself like uh, the Matala. <laughs> no, we must plug ourselves. See, the Matala was hungry by the time he, he passed on. <laughs> so at least people must help us yeah. sustain this content and, and help us record. Yeah. And be able man. to pay for the equipment. Oh, yeah, no, without yeah. a doubt, man. Mm. Without a doubt. Definitely join us as a member. Like, comment, share this because this is definitely going to be a regular thing that we'll be putting up. Um, thank you very much. ABM Chat signing out, man. Peace. Audio Boatmasters, listen to your imagination.